Salaboy, uh uh. Salaboy, uh uh. Mama, Vina. Papa, Vina. Beta, ta mwa mololo. To Abidjan, I had a concert there, and I got there in the morning, so I wanted to take a nap, and I was there with my PA. So I thought that she would take care of my child, because unfortunately, at that time, I could not go drop my daughter to South Africa where my mom is, so I had to go with her in service. 
And you know, in things like this, it's always spiritual. And it's, it's not good to go with kids. And I get to Abidjan. My daughter was awake and I was just slumbering because of jet lag. And I just heard a scream by the kitchen. And I woke up. I've never heard my baby cry like that. And as I go, my baby drank poison. Somebody say, hey! hey! Her, her tongue was bleeding. I, I don't know if I have pictures here. So the lady that was cleaning the house forgot the product that unlocks toilets right in front of my door. Is that no witchcraft? Right in front of my door. And listen to me. Look how the devil works. That bottle, that can, had the same color as my baby's milk. And as I get there, I'm seeing, I thought it was a cartoon. I could see my baby's lips swelling and getting bigger and bigger. And her tongue was bleeding. I looked at my PA and I say, tu ma tue. So people will hear that Sister Deborah went to kill her own daughter in Abidjan. The day I was going to come to London, they were going to say because of this success, isn't it? And I looked at my child. I began to cry, praying in tongues. Let me open a bracket. Every time you face a situation, don't panic first. Begin to pray. Because the devil is waiting for your reaction towards his action. And your reaction will determine whether you have a testimony or whether you cry. I looked at my daughter. Listen. The first reflex of a child is to swallow when they put something in the mouth. And we take her to the hospital. The doctor looked at me and he recognizes me. Mama Deborah, what happened? I said, Papa, I don't know. And the doctor cried with me. And he told me, if she drank the poison, you know the thing that really unlocks toilets? Even when you touch it, you can melt your fingers. It's very strong. And she said, if she drank poison, I'm afraid we have to send you back to America. Because we cannot treat an American here. And I told myself, who released the witches of my family? I looked at him and I said, check her. They told us that we, she should not drink or eat anything for three days. So that they are able to put tubes in her and check her intestines. And I waited, looking at my child crying. I composed songs. I prayed like I was crazy. I prayed like Anna. I, pray I don't know which prayer I did not make. The third day, just like Jesus Christ. As they were putting the tubes in her tummy, the doctor came out. Maman Deborah, Maman Deborah, il n'a pas bu le poisson. Kasi Babosani, Say this I looked at the doctor he told me your daughter did not drink poison I told him yes she did but my Bible tells me that you will drink poisonous things but it will not kill you
Pose les cris de joie pour ton Dieu. Yeah. 